we put a back to the episode of Haas, the Auto Survival Today Boots are boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely fan fantastic day. Hopefully, the most amazing Friday, then we'll get some more fan fantastic from here on out. Because today, boom, we got a look at a post that Kafir did kind of detailing one of the quote unquote different types of players, quote unquote factions that there are within the game. Because they kind of said they're like, oh, these are like the four types of main players we've noticed, yada, yada, yada. This is their first post kind of detailing the grinders and giving a short story around them but that is not at all what matters what matters is this that you guys are seeing in the image that is posted to accompany this because as you are seeing within this image there is a variety of stuff this is an in-game sketch of an in-game representation we have the racks from our home the massive storage capacity on the left we have the husky in the middle we have a mannequin on the right with the kalashnikov 47 we have a vss and m16 chilling on what appears to be some sort of a gun rack on the back but there is one incredibly key difference the one thing that stands out in this image and that is the aug that is chilling back there a new type of weapon that we are first seeing teased right here and right now and with the information that kafir has shared just a couple of days ago detailing how there are going to be two huge updates coming pretty much this summer one of them most likely is to be that a to v swamp update and the other one is going to then be that settler slash outpost update from what we have been able to to do uh, to deduce and they have also said that these are going to be two very large content updates in that they're kind of rolling together a couple of updates worth of stuff into these two big boys and a little bit of an update as well i did see uh the last day on earth twitter tweet out by the way that the first of these updates is expected to be out this month and then summer does end in early september so likely end of next month early september is when we can expect that second update so then the question becomes which of the two is more likely to include the aug and that's a little bit of a could go either way with the atv slash swamp update that is likely to be introduced that is going to be adding in a whole new area of the world over here in the west new areas to explore and i mean it would make sense for new loot to get as well in the form of this aug for there to be something new for us to encounter but it could also be possible to come along with that outpost slash settler update as well but then the question becomes what role does this aug play and i would bet my money on this bad boy being some sort of an even more juiced scar potentially having an even higher base damage of 22 or 23 or something because the aug is a as you guys are seeing from the image over there a very fine piece of machinery and it is definitely one that we're going to be able to do a decent amount of damage with with not to mention i can't wait to see what type of mods we can include into this because in terms of like a like weapon layout it's a little bit more of a bullpup design and that like you guys can see that the magazine to the gun itself is kind of like in the back closer to the stock which is a little bit different from what you would see in conventional guns and then we are also seeing the fact that it does have what appears to be a foregrip on there likely we'll be able to toss on some sort of a barrel mod probably some sort of a sight mod most likely some sort of like a laser sight mod or like you know potential like bipod or thing like that to kind of go as like a kind of side barrel attachment kind of like how we have seen like bipods and laser sights and stuff be possible although that might take the place of a foregrip as well and of course some sort of i imagine really cool extended mag mods or like different types of mod blah, different types of magazine mods that we might be able to incorporate but regardless the aug is being teased as some sorts of a new weapon and i want to make sure that you guys and gals are aware of it because holy guacamole i cannot wait to get my hands on a new weapon and see what that jazz is all about because let me just say let me just say being able to whip out some sort of a new gun and just start modding the bejesus side of it not to mention show it off for your lads and lassies where we can find that aug because dude if it is a rare weapon i could see us maybe it being dropped from like oh by the way today's bunker code is gonna be oh four five nine oh if that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in make sure to check that out the comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan for contested community here at the snipe gang and if you're not seeing it down below you could be the fan for contested ladder lassie to toss it down there and be of help to anyone who might be in need of that marvelous sequence of numbers we're also gonna be doing a little bit of an unboxing today over here in the bunker with our triple wombo combo of tickets but first we got to kill the blind one which will complete the quest that we are doing for our raid as well because we do have a raid from the raiders it is a raid that we do need a quest for so 
subsequently the raiders will be asking for their fair share of the loot but that is a bridge we'll cross when it comes maybe we'll pull a fast one on the raiders and try to kill them because i have heard rumors that the raiders uh, you can't exactly trap them in whoa that's what I like to see. Let's freaking go. A little bit of shotgun raid, mini Uzi, and uh, engine part womble combo. We're going to make sure to toss on this is set of uh, military armor that we are given just so our SWAT armor doesn't take an unnecessary beating. I will probably leave those pants behind. Those are literally hanging by a thread. And then within the green box over here, we have the pistol threes, a little bit of the engine parts. We got a lens, which is actually a, a pretty nice pickup in addition to some omnoms. And uh, yeah, let's go and toss those medkits that we got down into there. And I'd say we're armed to the teeth. Oh, I do need a little bit of hydration. You know what? Mm, mm. Mm. In that case, we do have a little bit of bottled water over there. Let's go and cop that, and we'll glug, 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 glug. Take a sip of that. 69. Nice. I'd say that we, as soon as we activate hard mode, are prepared to get down and dirty with the one who is blind. But like we were saying with the Augman, the, the question also becomes, this is a question I did want to pose both to myself and to you, lads and lassies. Uh, where do we then encounter this new potential Aug? Does it get added into the loot pool of existing locations like the police station and the bunker, which is very likely it's something we have seen happen to weapons like the Mini Uzi, which was not an OG gun. It was added with in an update after like the bunker and stuff already existed and it was added as potential crate loot same with we can find it in the police station too so there's a great chance that it is added to these areas or maybe like a rare gun like the scar it's only going to be accessible from some of the rarest and hardest to reach places like a freaking floppy disk for example instead of being just within a lot of these different loot pools that we could come across and that is why i am leaning towards the atv slash swamp update actually containing the odd because we know that there's going to be new swamp zones added, but we also know that Kafir does want to add a good amount of content to that western area as well, potentially a accompanying zone, kind of like how the winter biomes up in the north have come along with the oak zones. It's kind of like their metal next to your counterpart. Because in case you guys are not aware, if you follow me over here, you can see that there is this little thing known as titanium, which is the next tier of metal, and the thing is ash planks are the next tier of wood. We know that swamps are going to have ash planks, but then the question becomes kind of like how when the oak zones were introduced and those had, well, that wonderful thing that we needed, which was, uh, what should we call it? Oak. Uh, it also had the ability to get copper and subsequently create steel from that copper up in the north, in uh, the north north, where it was like the freaking winter and stuff. So that's a little bit of a question that does need to be posed as well. But ultimately, from what they were saying, they do want there to be a good amount of content and stuff to do in those western zones. So I could definitely see, you know, some uh, more unique situations arising, maybe like special western. Ooh, I like what I see over there. Maybe like special western events, for example, that might be able to pop up or just kind of like a unique western location, kind of like uh, the farm or kind of like the motel where it does respawn on a certain basis. And, you know, at the end, the server will be restarted in 29 minutes. What in tarnation is going on? We're on a timer. I've never seen this happen before in my life. Excuse me. Um, okay, well, I haven't a clue what in tarnation is going on, but it appears that we are on an extra timer that we have never been on before. So holy guacamole, blind one, you gotta die today, my compadre. Uh, this is not what I bargained for. That's all good. That should give us plenty of time to uh, wrap up some of these loose ends of ours because I don't know how long the server's gonna go down once it does go down and I'm a little bit spooked. But I do have some marvelous weaponry. We're bringing out a little bit of the mini Uzi to do a number on our friend over here. It's a blind fun. Let's just make sure that we are starting with as full of health as possible. And it is time for a little something known as okay oh hold up we got hacking gotta use our uber hacker skills you don't actually need the hacker skill i'm just beep booping away at that keyboard i just you know the, the password is password okay don't don't tell anyone this is some top secret stuff right but uh hello blind one how you doing get your hits off on me and get to whaling because i got an oozy jacuzzi awaiting you in just no time so we will get in that last hit he will run into this wall and i will run a ton of bullets into his brain Gra -ta 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 -ta. Dude, I love the Uzi, man. Like, 
the amount of damage we are able to dish out with this thing like it might not have the highest damage but the stability and speed combo to go along with pretty decent damage makes this so unique and that's another big reason i wanted to use the uzi today is to show off you know how unique weapons truly can be made because like when you do get the right combo going with stuff like the uzi at first is a little bit iffy but then we toss the right mods on it it becomes so special and it's insanely high fire rate and ability to do like such like pretty decent damage i would say in addition to being very stable during that getting some critical hits in there as well it just makes it an absolute bullet storm of death and that's something that i could kind of you know see apply into the aug as well like how will it differentiate itself because there's a couple of roles it could play it could just kind of be like that next tier of rifle because with some of the main rifles in the game at base the m16 starts out at 12 damage uh what's my call the ak starts out at 15 and see you later blind one thank you for the loot oh we got his head today Today is a good day. Thank you for that, blind one. Always very appreciative of that. I wish I could put more than one down in my freaking home, but no, we're limited to one, and the rest just got to rot away in chests. Very dope chests, but chest nonetheless but yeah i do believe the scar i i don't remember off the top of my head i will double check back when we get to base but i'm pretty sure the scar starts out at like 18 or like 20 damage it's it's one of the two i'm not 100 sure I, yeah, i'm kind of leaning towards 18 but regardless i know the m16 starts out at 12 base damage i think the uzi starts out at like what is it 10 base damage the ak starts out at 15 so they're kind of like incrementally increasing and that's where i'm curious like will this aug kind of serve as like the new top rifle of the game or will it maybe serve as kind of like a rifle that, you know, maybe it's like an in-between. Maybe it's like in-between an AK and a SCAR, for example, in that like right around like 18, 17 damage range, for example. And maybe it has like, uh, you can modify it properly. I got some stuff for you. Please give me that floppy disk a bit faster, buddy. I'd really love to get that going on the ASAPs. So we're gonna get this red ticket crate popping. But, uh, you know, like what would it play? Like would it be able to maybe modify it through the proper mods into like a, a slower speed, very high critical chance, very high critical critical damage weapons really good range because the aug is a pretty accurate weapon i'm pretty sure and whoa well let's freaking go that's a c4 i'm gonna come in very handy for today's raid a set of did not mean to eat that band-aid swash armor and all of these marvelous looking guns over here let's go ahead and grab the last of those and then it is going to be time for us to skedaddle on out of here but we're gonna be skedaddling in very high spirits because things are looking up baby oh the loot is looking good today the question is can we top it off with a loot tastic type of raid because we still gotta wait with the verdict is from the raiders what they want to hand off to us in terms of a raid how that's all going to be looking but dude and like i'm saying with this aug i'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below what you guys think what type of role that this aug is going to play because there's it's likely it's got to play some sort of an in-between some sort of a step up or some sort of like a unique role a unique niche like how the mini uzi is insanely high fire rate but very good stability once properly modded the ak does take on some pretty good damage in addition to like just kind of being part of like the rifle chain chopper event i'm tempted by it we're heading over there but you know the, like the m16 at base like i'm saying does have 12 the ak is 15 and it kind of like does have steps up at that each one kind of has like some unique stuff going on in terms of their active skill mod and weapons like that and not weapons but mods and stuff like that so i'd love to hear your guys thoughts on any and all that type of jazz surrounding the aug what type of role you think it'll play what type of stats you think that it will have Cause like i'm saying i think it'll be close to like that ak like scar maybe it'll be even higher than the scar but I'm kind of skeptical we got to see and then I think it's going to be found through some sort of like maybe like boss of the western zone or something man or some sort of like new lootastic thing that gets introduced out west but regardless let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding that type of jazz and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way is the wiki tribe better at your touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well as make sure that like button make subscribe that will you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when said it rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the widow for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell at the stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that does help you stay in the loop on oh, in case you guys have not checked out ooh, piece of candy Ooh, a pretty nice piece of candy at that but in case you guys have not checked out some of that other stuff that is popping off on the channel definitely give it a go when you do have the opportunity i know that we could siphon that gas but eh, for now i will pass because we're on a 
of a timer with whatever incarnation is going on with this server. So I'm a little bit skeptical and I'm just trying to haul Bute into this raid because I want to give you all a raid today and I don't want this video going out at like 5 a.m. Okay, it's already going to be going out pretty late and I'm pretty sad boy about that in the first place. But okay, you I stripped naked. Okay, we are good over there. You, Mr. Chopper, have in store for me and nothing too amazing. Neither do you, buddy. I suppose I'll be taking up the band-aids in. Ah, I'm tempted. Worst case, we could scrap this. You know what we can do? Why don't we go and toss this fuel over where it will actually come in handy to a certain extent? Maybe. And then we have room to put on... Where is that dang pistol? Give me the pistol, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, okay. Now let's skedaddle our way back on home and see what type of a raid we do have popping off for today. But like I was saying, definitely give those other series on the channel a go as well. When you guys do see them go up, you guys might really find a series that you guys do enjoy. I'm not saying go and love every series that's going up. I'm saying give everything a chance you know if you see like a new game coming out on the channel that you haven't seen before maybe like a series that you haven't bothered to check out give it a look and you might genuinely find something that you do enjoy a series that you just start watching the bejesus out of or maybe even a game yourself that you start to have fun with because we're always having a fan for fantastic time with everything that we are doing if you guys like last day on earth there's a great chance you'll be liking some of the other stuff because survival dude that might as well be my middle name at this point we're checking out all sorts of survival games mobile survival games free survival games the whole shebang and at that of the day it's a fan freaking fantastic time through and through and the notification bell is a great way to stay up, stay, up, stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as well as soon as that type of new info does come out we're spreading it to you guys eyes and ears absolutely asap breaking down that new information how it fits with other information that kafir has already released how it fits with stuff already existing in the game to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth and what to expect out of it and when those new updates will be coming what to expect out of those new updates how these new features might be looking and let's not forget we all Always trying to have a raid tastic time and play at 8329. You about to be raided, Sonny Jim Bob. And we're locked and loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just make sure that we pop on the proper things for the task at hand, which is going to be a bit more of a raiding setup. Plus, we got this bad boy over here, which gives us a little bit of extra damage. Does it bring this up to 17? Nah, it's still at 16, unfortunately. In case you guys are curious, just to show off what I'm talking about, if we put this back to there. Oh, Star, don't do it. It literally does not make a difference because boop. Yes, sir. I just did it. I took off a mod that I've yet to learn. Still doing 16 damage, which is why that mod isn't as good and why we are very close in trying to complete this mod to actually give our M16 a chance at doing a critical star. Why is that important? Well, currently, it has a 0% chance at doing a critical. This will change things. And given the fact it has a maxed out critical damage, Ho, 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 there should be some pretty good stuff coming our way, but okay, there's gonna be some pretty good stuff coming our way in this raid. Let's just make sure that we have enough, uh, whatchamacallit, hatchets to bring that to fruition, but as we were saying with that notification bell, I'm making sure that it's, it's also a great way to stay up to date, not just with the latest and greatest of last data information, but also the latest and greatest of those updates as well. As soon as I type a new update does come out, we're checking it out absolutely ASAP and spreading it to your guys' eyes and ears of the lickety split, all that these new updates do have to offer, new locations, new enemies do anything if there's anything new we are showing it off on video for the marvelous lads and lassies of the world known as you and as we are saying these like two big content updates that we can't expect pretty much this summer within the next uh, two two and a half months the first of which is slated to be coming this month ho oh, ho they're gonna be big there's gonna be a lot to go over like like i'm saying man that freaking new western zone and all that that's gonna encompass and the ash planks and the atv vehicle dude which i imagine there's gonna be a trick to getting it built because well we do need that atv transmission on top of uh, well tons of other stuff and god knows what it's gonna take to get this bad boy built but uh, when it does come to building it we are gonna be showing it off so you guys can see what this atv looks like what it unlocks and all that type of jazz and long story short if there's some newness to check out y'all will be seeing some newness on the channel and dude we still got i think there's still a couple of basements that we ought to be able to find so our basement search will ooh, piece of candy this is gonna be a cheap way of breaking in through this level one doorway but uh, yeah those basements if all does go well i think there's still another basement we got to come across that i'm low-key pretty excited for and okie dokie i don't know what to expect ow I don't know what to expect out of this location because this is a little bit different. 
than the base I've researched of the same name. Star, what in tarnation are you saying? Researching bases, what are you, some sort of scientist? No, I am just a star. And oh my goodness gracious, T minus 15, dear mama. Let's hope that things go good. I hope that this isn't separated into two rooms because I do only have one big boy hatchet at hand. So uh, yeah, if this could just unlock the rest of this place. Okay, good, 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 good. And then we got all these chests that we should have more than enough noise to break into and check it out. This is gonna be a really good raid for us as well because in case you guys have not noticed, there are a billion and a half spikes. Ow, 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 don't hurt me. And we're just gonna go ahead and play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah, yeet! Oh, you are not hitting me with that, big boy. We're just gonna play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie with these spikes and magically there will be less enemies in the world. This is the power of Ring Around the Rosie, baby. Y'all are witnessing it firsthand. <laughs> Ow, I'm accidentally ring around the rosying myself as well. But, you know, while these guys are kind of uh, damaging themselves for us and making their way towards us in extremely weakened form, let's continue breaking through the rest of these chests. I think this one ought to summon another angry whore. No, okay. I, I, I suppose so. And then there's also a couple of workbenches that do like they will be, blah, do look like they will be worth. Oh, dear mama, please don't hurt me either. Uh, do look like they will be worth breaking into, so that is the game plan from here. Apologies if I'm mumbo jumbling around with some of my words. It is a little bit later than I was hoping to have this video recorded, and as such, the uh, sleep deprivation is beginning to kick in a little bit. But god dang it, that will not stop me. Okay, y'all gotta die. Thank you for the cooperation. That will not stop me from trying to bring some god dang quality entertainment your way. And that is exactly what is happening, I think. All right, floater bloater. The people want you dead. It's for entertainment. You understand? He understands. Okay. Uh, and then we still got some noise to play with. So I'm going to try and break into... Ooh, we has got a chest down here. Let's definitely break into the chest. First and foremost, furnaces and workbenches. After that, it's getting dangerous here. Yeah, it is. But god dang it, danger is my middle name. Maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know. Or or Troy. Yeah, it's, it's actually store. St Troy. Star Troy Sniper. We'll go with it. <laughs> All right, and some of these fast biters already looking extremely weakened. Whoop! Let me just yeet my way out of there, and we'll let them drop dead a little bit because utilizing this spike strategy of a ring around the rosy, well, it ow leads to us accidentally stabbing ourselves with sharp, pointy wood. But on the other hand, it does lead to us ow point stabbing ourselves with more sharp, pointy wood. Uh, it does lead to us saving on weapon durability, which is always a Welcome thing if you ask me and those other toxic abominations do appear like they got things under control Definitely you my friend. I want to break into we should be able to all right We got some iron plates out of there for now. Let's see what we have out of this chest. Oh Decent little hall of oak. I'll take it. We'll break through this woodwork bench We got some planks. Okay, and then we'll save that one up. That one will definitely be broken into by Am I out of hatchets? Okay, maybe it won't get broken into. Time will tell. Maybe we could try and craft some more up. That looks like it might be the play. <laughs> uh, well, we got a little bit of wood here. A decent amount of iron plating. I'll definitely be taking that right off the bat. Uh, he stores his shoes where he stores his carrots, so I'm a little bit suspicious of him. And he cooks berry tea. Got a lot of reasons to be suspicious of this lad. Ooh, red ticket out of that. A little bit of duct tape as well. I suppose I'll take some of those and some cameras. And nothing super stand out in these chests. It does look like besides some of that oak in that one chest. Ooh. Listen. Okay. It's it's this raid has just gotten some brownie points from me. I am a little bit of a sucker for coal because it keeps my furnaces burning long time. I like when they burn long time. And yo, what's the speaking of time? What's the timer looking like? Because I haven't been yelled at. I just remember being yelled at that there was like 15 minutes left. And I don't know how many minutes ago that was. But I do know that it was a amount of minutes ago. And that has me worried. Because it could have been 20 minutes ago. And nothing I'm... It probably was not 20 minutes ago. But hypothetically speaking, it could have been. And if it was, that'd be a train wreck disaster. Just waiting to happen. I'll definitely collect the wood. Stone blocks, stone bricks and stuff. Bit more skeptical with... Mm. I'll need to pass on some of those. We got 10 minutes. All right. Yo, thank you for hearing my cries. And they actually, uh, whatchamacall, knew that I needed some time. Uh, 
What we're going to do here, we're going to try to finesse this nice and easy. We're going to use our wood and that to craft up a hatchet. We're going to open up that last chest under the duress of stress. That, oh, dude, bars. I'm, oh my god, that was some heat. I just spit. Because there's nothing else here that's really wowing me. Nothing that I do want to pick up. Although, yo, I will eat all that god dang stew. All right, I'm feeling like the freaking, uh, like the three bears. And who, who eats the bears in that one story? Or the bear soup, mama bear, papa bear. A child bear. I, I don't know. Long story short, I'm eating me some dang quality soup. The bears would have been proud of the soup. They would have been proud. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we got. If this is what we're walking out of here with, uh, I can't complain. Because here's what we're going to do. We are about to craft up a hatchet, which is going to subsequently create a little bit of noise. When that happens, angry people start running at us. When angry people start running at us, we got to be, be prepared to run away. Oh, no, 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 no. He is odd on my tail. And, okay, just a little bit of wood planks up in there. I could drop that for my hatchet, but, you know, I'm just trying to make it out of there alive. I'm not about to risk my life and this tactical backpack over some pine planks that is uh not on the to-do list for today unfortunately but i am happy that the aug was on today's list and you know what maybe we could strike a deal with mr dealer joe over here maybe he wants a camera phone i got some quality camera phones up in here brother brody just for you or a hatchet quality and pristine i uh, know okay we got eight minutes this countdown it's starting to use a weird amount of minutes it's yelling at me like every two minutes this is getting sus. I think it's telling me star. End the dang episode. So, okay. Last day on our server, I suppose. I'll slowly start listening to you. But I am happy that we did get to cover that AUG. And the fact that, you know, they, they teased it in a bit of a subtle way. But when you pay attention to that image, holy guacamole. There is an AUG coming to the future last day. And with these two big updates kind of being slated, likely the AUG is going to be included in one of them. And when it is... Oh, we're going to be getting it. We're going to be showing it off and we're going to be having a fan freaking fantastic time with it. And nope, that is way too much to ask. Great doing business with you, Joe, but I'm not doing business with you. But with that said, with that done, that's going to let us start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.